Good morning, Bleed Big Blue Nation. This is Marco, co-host and CEO of the Bleed Big Blue podcast. We are a dedicated live stream New York Giants podcast. And today I'm coming at you with the 2008 NFL draft under Giants GM Jerry Reese. If you saw our 2007 video, you are up to speed. If not, I'll leave a link in the description for it. And I'll also put a card on top right about now. In 2007, Jerry Reese did a pretty good job drafting. So how did he follow up with the 2008 draft? Well, let's get into that right now. But first, here's the backstory. How did the Giants do the season prior? After a long absence and a difficult road, the Giants returned to the Super Bowl as overwhelming underdogs against the undefeated New England Patriots. And us Giants fans all know how that ended. Head coach Tom Coughlin and Eli Manning hoisting up the Lombardi Trophy, answering a bunch of questions that people asked about them before the season started. Keeping a team together after winning a Super Bowl is definitely a difficult task. Starting safety, Jabril Wilson went to the Raiders, Sam Madison was getting up in age, and Michael Strahan went out on top and retired after his Super Bowl victory. Jerry Reese had seven picks to work with this year. There was a need for safety, corners, linebackers, and wide receivers. The 2008 draft definitely had some players in there. We're talking Jake Long, Matt Ryan, Ryan Clady, Jamal Charles. So there was definitely talent out there. Let's see how the Giants did. Your boy Mel Kuyper rated the Giants 2008 draft as a C plus. And I disagree with him. The Giants first pick was at number 31. So first round pick number 31, the Giants select Kenny Phillips, safety from Miami. He was a Giant from 2008 to 2012 and was a part of the Giants 2012 Super Bowl team. At the time people thought he was the best safety in the draft and the Giants definitely had a need there. Kenny had some injury issues which hurt his potential. He ended up retiring in 2015 after spending some time on the Eagles and the Saints. For the Giants second round selection it was pick number 63 and they took Terrell Thomas out of USC. Terrell played from 2008 until 2013. He made some contributions his rookie year and started two games. And the following two years were definitely solid, as he proved to be a young corner. Terrell will probably be known for tearing his ACL three times, twice on one side and once on another. He was able to come back in 2013 and play a few games, but he was never the same player after that. But honestly, how could you be? Not one, not two, but three ACL tears? Damn. So the third round pick, number 95, wide receiver Mario Manningham, out of Michigan. He played from 2008 to 2011 and he left for free agency. He briefly returned in 2014, but he will mostly be remembered for his sideline catch in the Super Bowl during that 2011-2012 run. He had some monster years as a second and third option and receiver for Eli. In 2010, he had nine touchdowns. He was a nice piece, a nice complement to what we had going. So now we hit the fourth round, and there's a little bit of a shakeup. Jerry Reese making moves. Originally, we had pick number 130, but Reese packaged the 130th pick and our sixth round pick to trade up to number 123, where he selected linebacker Brian Keel. Brian played for the Giants during 2008 and 2010. After those years, he bounced around a little bit with the Redskins and the Rams and never really caught on. So that's the first movement from Reese giving up a sixth round pick, but we did have another sixth round pick which we could use. Now up to round number five, pick number 165, 
linebacker Jonathan Goff. He played from 2008 to 2011. In 2011, he tore his ACL and left in free agency to Washington. Round six, number 198. The Giants selected quarterback Andre Woodson, who played in 2008. Mostly his time was spent on the practice squad and he was released later on in the year. Ending the draft this year was Robert Henderson at pick 199. Uh, defensive end who spent most of his time on the IR and was waived in 2009. So to recap, we took Kenny Phillips, defensive back, Terrell Thomas, another defensive back, Mario Manningham, wide receiver, Brian Keel, linebacker, Jonathan Goff, linebacker, Andre Woodson, quarterback, Robert Henderson, defensive end. When I talked about this draft before, I told you that I disagreed with Mel Kuyper, who gave it a C plus. This is a bad draft. From the fourth round on, players struggle to stay on the team, or even make the team. Phillips, Thomas, Manningham all had injury issues, but were contributors at one time. Manningham definitely had value at the third round, but overall for Jerry Reese, a poor draft class. Granted that he's drafting at the bottom of the draft, but still. If Mel Kuyper puts this at a C minus, I'm going to have to put this at a D minus. Now this doesn't include free agency or any type of maneuvers. This is solely just the draft. But overall, the Giants were still in good shape. Coming off the Super Bowl win, they still had a solid team. They didn't have that many holes that they had to fix. And the team really turned it on and started streaking late. So let's look at the overall numbers so far. Two years of the draft. Jerry Reese drafted six offensive players and nine defensive players. Those include, starting with the offense, one quarterback, two wide receivers, one tight end, one offensive lineman, and one running back. On the defensive side of the ball, four defensive backs, one defensive tackle, three linebackers, and one defensive end. In these first two years, you could see he has leaned or has tendencies to take a defensive back, a wide receiver, or a linebacker. But will this trend keep up for the next year and the years following? We'll cover all of those in our next video. For the 2008 draft, there were no real glaring mistakes. There wasn't a, a point where I was saying that, oh, he missed out on this guy, he shouldn't have selected that guy, along those lines. It was more of unlucky picks, injuries that really brought this draft down. A few of the guys were contributors to Super Bowl runs. In this draft class, there weren't any pro bowlers or anything along those lines. I also think there's a bit of a letdown here. In 2007, he had a really good draft, selecting players like Ahmad Bradshaw in the seventh round. Those types of picks stick with us. You start to expect picks like that every year, which really isn't realistic. Let me know what you think about this draft class. Do you think there were points where Jerry Reese should have maybe made some other maneuvering, moving up? Or were there some players that you were hoping that he would draft that he bypassed on? Were there obvious misses? Let me know all things like that. Um, leave a comment down below. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Um, I'll close this out with an outro. If you haven't done so already, please like this video. Leave a comment like we talked about. Also, please subscribe to the channel. With the notification bell on, I will talk to you later on in the week. I think tonight we are also going to have a live podcast returning on Wednesday nights, which we usually do. Thanks again for listening in. Talk to everyone later on in the week. And peace out.